about. And, you know, what are we going to do? You know, we have to either be willing to put up money for care because at the time I entered my wife's life, they were uninsurable. He was. So, unfortunately, they didn't have that opportunity. But what other things does a family, what other consequences do they face? To have to, well, care of the, take care of their uh, parents. Well, not being close, yeah. living a long distance away. Again, all, all the all the things that go along with it. Lay on the award all the time and watch it. There's also another thing that happens for a lot of children. Guilt. We don't have any guilt. Loneliness. Yeah. 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 <laughs> all right, she's starting. Okay, finances. Who cares? All right. We, okay. Throw me it in. There we go. Okay. Isolation. Isolation. Yes. Going along. So now that we've recognized some of the consequences, we really have to address a couple of things. One is, this is a reality in the world today. There are 54 million people that are getting care today. And that's what the time goes on. Exactly. And where, who do you think is providing the majority of that care? Family. Family. Mainly spouses, as we start, then children. And here's the deal. Most home care situations are five hours a day, five days a week, when people pay it out of their own pockets. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is, my wife will go to work, they'll have somebody come in for a few hours a day to give a little respite so that she can go on with a little bit of her life and then she's back on the clock when she comes home. And usually five days a week. Usually around $24,000 a year is what it costs for just those five, five hours a day, five days a week. In home care. In home care. 24,000. Now that's not around the clock, so let's be very careful about that. That's just giving somebody a break for five hours a day, five days a week. That's it. So, so, what are some of the solutions? I, I want to have, before I go there, I want to ask one other question. How many of you would like to live with your kids? <laughs> would like to live with your children? Oh. <laughs> I don't see any hands raised. Yeah. Well, this one you'll like even better. How many of you are prepared to give all your money to your children today? <laughs> one person. You're a brave soul. <laughs> <laughs> you have worked all your lives, you've invested most of your retirement, throughout your retirement, you've tapped into many different resources, and I really want to acknowledge you for being here today. It's about taking a look at something when it's not comfortable. And I want to acknowledge you for opening yourself up to at least some possibilities of what there is for solutions. I also would acknowledge you for those of you who might have some insurance right now. How many people have some policies currently? Great, that's a beginning. And I'm going to talk about different <coughs> alternatives that we have. Even if you have coverage, there might be a way to add to or to tease out a much more comfortable situation for you. But again, it's about you taking the time. I know a lot of you would rather be hang gliding or mountain climbing or water skiing or golfing, horseback riding than, than being here. But I know that a lot of people haven't had this conversation with their own children. How many of you have the conversation with your children? Where's the cash going to come from if I need care? Who's going to be the one to take care of me if I need care? How many of you have had that conversation? Uh, you know, I'd really like you to look around. That's really important because they are your team. And unfortunately, the elephant comes charging into the house and takes the house, and then the kids are trying to hold down the elephant so that it slows down, slows down until it's a runaway train. 
That's why you have to talk about it. We have to step up to open up possibilities and conversations with people in a way that we all know what direction we're going to go when a consequence of queer occurs. Here's the fact. In life, we cannot manage risk. In life, we can manage consequences. You hear the distinction. It's real important. I'll give you an example. I'm 50 years old. I have a less of a 5% chance that I will die before I'm 65 years of age. Don't say that. Well, it's something that I have to look at. And the fact is, at age so, would I buy life insurance if I felt I had a 95% chance I won't die? Would I buy it? Sure. No. 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 no, I wouldn't. Oh. Why would I buy it? I would buy it because if I die tomorrow, I have a wife and daughter that would be in a whole lot of trouble. So I'm buying it not because of the risk. I'm buying it because of the consequence. So that my wife and daughter can continue to grow in their life, even if I'm not with them. That's managing consequences. And so that's what we're going to do. Now, there are four or five different ways we can do that. And as I said, <coughs> is cash for care. And one of the topics we're going to talk about is insurance, but I'm going to talk to you about insurance in a different way. There are many different vehicles that an insurance policy is written we have a one that can be paid in cash, which means that whatever cash you receive from the carrier, you can spend it any way you want. You can pay anyone you want. There's no hardly any claim forms. They just give you cash. If you want to pay your family member to provide the care or the person down the street, you can. Total choice is yours. Then there's a reimbursement model where you submit bills to a company if you had $100 a day and the bill was $80, $20 will stay in the insurance company for future years and they'll pay $80. And then there's an indemnity. In an indemnity model, if you had $100 a day but the cost of care was only $50, they will give you $100. You can take the $50 extra and do whatever you choose. It's your money. I'm going to invite Peter Gelbach up here to explain another one that I think has a real good value to it, and we'll continue our conversation. But Peter has been in this community for, what, 40 years? 43 now? years. 43 mm -hmm. years. He's also one of the pioneers in this industry. He has developed product with a lot of major carriers like MetLife, John Hancock. Uh, you were involved with Lincoln, weren't you? Yes. With Lincoln. Uh, Genworth. So he is a big player in the industry because he's passionate about it and he has a great knowledge. He's been written in local newspapers including Miami Herald as well as Bottom Line Magazine. So we're very fortunate that he's here to share with us. So I'm going to invite Peter to come up and share a few words with you. Thanks, Greg. 